Welcome to Royal News Updates. OMG. Double humiliation for Sussex. Queen Elizabeth is very angry on Harry after he break the royal rule. Before we start, please, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, thanks. Prince Harry could face the final nail in the coffin if his status as Councillor of State is revoked, it is claimed. The Queen has four councillors of state who are responsible for taking over from her duties should she be ill or be otherwise absent. These are appointed from the four adults next in succession, provided they are over 21. Princes Charles, William, Harry and Andrew are the current councillors of state who can act on behalf of the Queen in a limited fashion. However, a royal source claimed if the role was removed from Harry through an act of parliament, there would be no going back for the Duke of Sussex and argued there would be no hope of a royal family reunion. The Daily Mail reported the source claimed the removal of the title would fully detach Harry from his previous life. They said, being removed, by Parliament no less, as a councillor of state, would really be the final nail in Harry's coffin of his former life as a frontline royal family member. If the Queen does take steps to have this situation remedied and Harry is axed, there really is no way back. All of these decisions the military titles, the HRHs in abeyance could theoretically be reversed. However, having Parliament take formal action to remove them as councillors of state is in another league entirely. Prince Harry has already been stripped of his military titles and patronages given to him by the Queen but has kept his Councillor of State role. Prince Andrew has also been stripped of his military titles and his Royal Highness moniker due to his ongoing civil lawsuit. The Daily Mail says Buckingham Palace is reportedly looking into removing these Councillors of State roles from the pair as the duo would find it difficult to deputise for the Queen. The Daily Mail quotes a royal source who said, it is a genuine problem that the palace is looking to address. Can you imagine the Duke of York having to sign official documents, for example, because the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cambridge were both abroad, and the Queen became ill? It's not an exaggeration to say it could put the monarchy in jeopardy. A Buckingham Palace spokesman declined to comment. However, the roles could only be removed with an act of parliament with the Queen giving her royal assent. Prince Harry has filed a judicial review against the Home Office after he was denied his request to pay for police protection when he visits the UK. The Duke of Sussex is expected to make the journey to the UK to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and while he attends the Invictus Games. However, Representatives for the Sussexes have said Prince Harry wishes to have police intelligence protecting him if he decides to visit. If Prince Harry chooses to attend Platinum Jubilee celebrations, he will not be eligible to receive the Queen's Platinum Jubilee medals. These are reserved for those who work in public service and for royal family members with honorary military titles. Since Prince Harry and Prince Andrew have had theirs stripped away from them, they would not be able to receive one. Thanks for watching, please, share your thoughts in the comment, thanks.